What is the best way to measure group size from your rifles, your precision rifle rounds? Well, that answer is to use MOA, minute of angle. Now, minute of angle is an angular measurement, hence the name, minute of angle. And if you think about it, it sort of looks like a cone type of effect, cone type of measurement. Here we are at the muzzle, the rifle's muzzle, and one MOA at one yard away from the muzzle is one hundredth of an inch. At 100 yards, one MOA is 1.047 inches. At 200 yards, it is 2.09 uh, inches in size. So it's an angular measurement that uh, does have an equivalent when we convert to inches or, if you like, into millimeters or centimeters or those sorts of things. So how do we measure MOA? Well, we start by measuring the extreme spread edge to edge for that group. This group was shot with a 6.5 Grendel at 200 yards. I'll go ahead and make that measurement. Sometimes you have to make a couple measurements to see which is the most extreme spread, and that extreme spread is from there to there, outside edge to outside edge. And I'm going to multiply that measurement by the value of 100. Now note, to calculate true extreme spread, we have to subtract the size of the bullet, the caliber of the bullet, from the measured edge-to-edge -edge extreme spread. And then we're going to divide that value by the range in yards to the target. Now this was a 200-yard range, so I take 200 multiply it by the MOA equivalent at 100 yards, 1.047. And that is the MOA for this particular group. Now that may sound and may even look kind of complicated, but what we've done is I've created an Excel spreadsheet with those functions already built into it, and all you have to do is enter the bullet diameter in inches, the range in yards, and the edge-to-edge -edge measurement. So, if we are shooting a 308 Winchester, that bullet size is 0 0.308. Same thing if we're shooting a 30-30 or a 30-odd-6. If I'm shooting the 6.5 Grendel, that bullet size in caliber or inches is 0 0.264. But those are important things to know. Very easy to look up, though, as well. But why should we use MOA? Why not just measure that extreme spread edge to edge? That's that. Well, the reason why we use MOA for precision rifle especially is because it allows us to very, very easily compare a group size that may be shot at 100 yards to a group shot at 200 yards or 500 yards or 1,000 yards, whatever it happens to be. And we're very interested in knowing, did this bullet or did this way that I loaded this round work better for me uh, or did it work worse for me? So let me give you a little scenario. Let's say that I shot this group at 200 yards, which I did, with that Hornady factory ammo. And I want to know, uh, did this Hornady factory ammo uh, perform better in my particular rifle compared to maybe some Remington factory ammo or Winchester or Federal, whatever it happens to be. But I shot that one at 100 yards, maybe a week ago or a month ago. Well, a group five-shot group at 100 yards is almost certainly going to be much smaller in extreme spread compared to a group shot at 200 yards or 300 yards. And it's very misleading then to think, well, that uh, Winchester factory ammo that had an extreme spread of 1.2 inches, of course it's better because this one was, you know, so much larger. Well, certainly it is, 
and because we're measuring empirically. So we have to be able to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges, and that is where MOA comes in. It puts things onto the same playing field, and what we might find out is that that Winchester or Federal factory ammo had an MOA of 1.2, and this Hornady factory ammo had an MOA of 1.0. Then, it's very clear, at least from that one test, that the Hornady factory ammo was more precise or better in my particular rifle. We do this stuff all the time when we're testing our reloads and sometimes, yes, we do test at 100 or we shoot at 200 yards or whatever it happens to be. We want to see how that bullet is responding uh, at different ranges, uh, so on and so forth. So, MOA, the way to measure precise or precision rifle groups. I hope this helps you understand rifles uh, and precision rifle shooting. Thanks for watching.